What's good YouTube, Ben here. Welcome to the next video on the channel. In this one, I'm gonna show you how to create a custom icon for any program on Windows. Let's get into this. Hey guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, please, because they really do help me to get found. Don't forget to turn on notifications to be notified of all uploads and live streams, and don't forget to join me on my socials. Those are linked down below. Okay, let's get in. All right, so being able to create your own custom icons is very beneficial. Uh, I, as you can see up here, I've got two versions of OBS installed, but I've got custom icons, one for YouTube with the color YouTube red and one for Twitch. So I've got two different versions and I know which one I've got to click just by looking at the color. If I want to stream to Twitch, I click this one. If I want to stream to YouTube, I click this one. So having that installed, well, having that sorted is great. Now, in order to do this, you're going to want a couple of things. First of all, you're going to want the program you want to alter, which I assume you've already got installed. And then you're going to want GIMP. Uh, which is a photo editor which i'll link the link for that in the description below my links once you've got those installed you want to go to google images and get whatever image you want to use for your um icon so in my case we just want the obs logo now as you can see this logo is the same as the one we have installed uh which i'm going to show you how to change that if you want to do a different color or something now I'm going to point out quickly as well, if you're using a fully square image, like if this is all taken up by the, the icon, then you don't need to make sure it's transparent. But if it's a circle like OBS, you want to make sure it has a transparent checkerboard background like that. So once you've done that, save image. And to clarify even further, just because it has a checkerboard does not mean it's transparent. If you save the file and it's a .png or a .webep, then you're fine. It should have transparency. So we'll save that to the desktop and we'll quickly go off of this. Now it's saved to my other monitor, so I just quickly copy this over. So as you can see, that's my image file. Now it's the same as this one pretty much, other than like a little bit of a discoloration, but we're gonna change this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up GIMP. Now I've got custom custom icons for YouTube and Twitch. Let's do a custom icon for Kick. Kick is another streaming platform. So once you've got um, OBS open, just go to here, drag it in, and it'll open up the image. Now this will show if it's truly transparent, because the checkerboard will be dark gray. Once you've confirmed it has checkerboard background, it's fully transparent. Uh, you wanna just go to your colors and make sure you've got the right color of whatever you wanna pick. Mine's already selected to do the actual kick colors. So we'll just go to the paint bucket tool and we'll go ahead and just paint these in. Now, it doesn't have to be a perfect paint because the icon files are so small. So once you've done that, just hit export as, and then I can just save it over the original image. It's not really a problem. You can change the name if you want and save it as something new. So once that's done, as you can see, it's now changed the color, but we still can't use it as an icon. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to this website, which I'm going to link also down below. It's called Red Ketchup. Quick intermission guys, did you know that only 11.3% of you are subscribed to the channel? Don't forget to hit that sub button down below because it would really help us grow. Thank you. Now this allows you to transform different image files into icons, so as you can see you can convert a PNG, JPEG, WebP, HEIC, GIF, TIFF, BMP or SVG image into the ICO format. Now the ICO format is what icon files are. So when you're on this website, go ahead and click icon converter. And you want to browse for your image so in my case it's on the desktop so it's right there hit that it's going to bring that open make sure that it's all selected within the square once you've done that just scroll to the bottom and hit download and as you can see the file name is obs.svg.ico you need to make sure that the image ends in .ico so it's an ico file hit download right click hit download so that's going to download your ico file so we'll just drag this over onto the desktop again. So as you can see, it's the exact same image, except this time it's an ICO file. So when you're on your program that you want to change, just right click it, hit show more or hit properties, uh, go to your shortcut and here it says change icon. Now you want to browse for a new one. Uh, you want to go to wherever your icon saved, mine is the desktop. And as you can see, only one of them is showing. The ICO file is the one that's showing. That's because that's the only one we can use. The PNG, this one, is not showing. So double click, hit OK, hit Apply, and boom, there you go. The icon has now been changed. So now I have one for YouTube, one for Twitch, one for Kick. 
this will work with any program you want to change the icon for so let me know in the comments down below what you think of this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe please because you guys have been smashing it recently don't forget to turn on the notification bell to be notified of all uploads and live streams because i do upload daily and i live stream most days whenever i go live i either go live here on youtube or over on twitch so don't forget to follow on both platforms to be notified of when i go live don't forget you can also join my other socials like discord down below and don't forget you can also support the channel further by becoming a channel member from as little as 99p per month here in the uk or about a dollar 30 in american i'll catch you guys in the next one